Happy Bus! Crime lies hidden in the puzzle, and the truth emerges through reasoning. Detective Stories of Inspector Chip. The Bank Robbery 1, Part 1. Inspector White! Please! Please don't chase me! Norman knew was running wildly down the street, with Inspector Bunny White hot on his heels. Don't run! I'm just asking you to come back and assist in the investigation. I just want information about your boss, Nick Snoo. I... I don't believe you! If you just need help with the investigation, why? Why do all my pals have black eyes when they come out of the police station? I can't help it if your pals are clumsy. Oh! Yeah, right! <laughs> why is this fellow so fast? Norman knew had no intention of stopping. Instead, he sped up, and Inspector White fell even farther behind. Just as he was about to escape, a familiar figure appeared in front of Inspector White. Oh, hey, Inspector White! What are you doing here? And why are you running so fast? Oh, Rolly, it's you. You're here just in time. Just in time? Uh, what do you mean, Inspector White? Inspector White grabbed Rowley and threw him at Norman. Rowley missile incoming! Oh my god! Hi! I got nothing to say! No point hauling me in for questioning! Inspector White took Norman New into the police station. There was a big bump on Norman's head where he had been struck by the Raleigh missile. I... I really don't know where Nix is! He's been gone for a long time! Enough of your lies! Read this note. Inspector White took a slip of paper from her pocket and tossed it onto the table in front of Norman. There were a few words scrawled across it, with a hoof print stamped on the bottom. Be arriving at your place to pick up 100 million bucks. Nix! Oh, really, Inspector White? I don't know what that has stopped. The Sylvan Forest Bank received this note and they immediately reported it to me. Nix knew is your boss, and he's a regular visitor to the police station. I'd know his hoof print anywhere. You're not going to deny it, are you? Norman looked at Inspector White with tears in his eyes. <laughs> I, I'm really not sure. I only know that the boss picked up a copy of a crime guide recently. And he's had his nose in that book ever since. <laughs> then he just disappeared one day and no one has seen him. What we call his phone is off. A crime guide? Raleigh came over. There was a big bump on his head, too. I think I heard Inspector Chimp mention the crime guy recently when Cyril Servo kidnapped Ringo. <laughs> a crime guy? Inspector White's eyes narrowed. That doesn't sound like it can be anything good. But for now, what matters is that we must find Nick's new and talk to him about what's been going on here. But, but I really don't know. I haven't been a member of his gang for very long. I, I don't know. Norman didn't know anything, so he couldn't give the police any useful information. He had no choice but to shrug his shoulders and slouch into his chair, pouting. Well, you can go then. But don't leave town. We'll need you to come back if we have any more questions. Yeah, 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 sure, of course. Whatever you say, Inspector White. Norman flashed a smile and rushed toward the door. Watch your step. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, 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 oh. 